three of the presentations that he's done here has been on his uh, uh, motor technology and switching technology and has essentially given a full disclosure on what it is. Um, happy to see that somebody actually brought a model, a small scale model based on Paul's work. Magnetic Energy Secrets was the series of three talks that he gave and then at, uh, one year he did a co-presentation with Jim Murray on the uh, SERPs technology and the secrets to Tesla's power magnification where um, this, using the switching technology and Jim's uh, methods they're able to uh, power a load while negating um, the load on a prime mover or you know on the input and so there was a uh, demonstrable uh, more work happening on the output than what's uh, going into it. For this presentation he's going to be talking about the living earth and going into more detail and I guess it's somewhat related to my uh, seed presentation on using the electrostatics for seed growth um, where we are in this natural you know living field and that's what he's going to be speaking on so please welcome Paul Babcock. As a three-dimensional being and three-dimensional focus, it's hard to think in three-dimensional terms, and I wrestled with this for about 40 years. So I kind of put it in a way that kind of gets people started. So imagine these particles are spinning spheres, and a sphere, there's something unique about a sphere. It has infinite planes. It can spin in any direction infinitely, no matter what you do. There's endless numbers of spins that a sphere can do. And consciousness units are aware, reactive, and have purpose. Conscious units react to thoughts, emotion, and the vibration patterns broadcast by DNA and astral bodies to form individual and mass realities. And they do this in the great simultaneous now for all dimensions, all places, all times, and all spaces all at the same time. And that's why how they become the universal medium. What's the purpose of all this for us human beings? We are learning to become conscious co-creators with the big holy. That's what we're here. We are creators. We are reality creators. We generate reality. It's a reactive medium. The modern scientific belief system has trapped mind can mankind into the false worldview. Reality creates us rather than we create reality. The modern scientific belief system murdered its better half. Intuition. The electric universe is a radiant energy system. So you see the plasma here. And many of the people have looked at some of my plasma experiments in electricity. So everything is a subtle radiant energy process to where the universe is totally renewed. You know, science will tell you, oh, the heat's going to go away and we're going to freeze up. No way. It's timeless. It's outside of time. It always has been. It always will be. The passive nature of stars and living planets is all important when it comes to understanding life force generating mechanisms. The atmosphere and the love making of the planet, our planet and the earth and the dielectric lines of force that exist that we live in are all important to organ generation. It's a process that generates organ from the radiant medium. We'll never get out of the trap of three dimensions with scientific principles. I don't care. Quantum physics, all of it, all this particle stuff, it's all gobbledygook. You don't need it. You can, anybody can grab this stuff with their own minds, their own abilities, and get more out of it than 18, 20, 100 Stephen Hawking's. Nikola Tesla discovered a way to manipulate electrons in such a way, and I believe electrons just like Tesla does. He says they translate energy, they're not the source of it. Uh, Mr. Wheeler gave us a beautiful, elegant description of magnetism, and I think Tesla would totally agree with him. So this was the Earth, here's the ionosphere, you have sunbeams shining in, and you also have the solar winds, which activate it, and it's just ringing and vibrating with energy. We have dielectric lines of force here, and here we are down here. We live in this high, we live on a negative plate, and this negative plate has 
attributes, which I'll go into here. Organ generating clouds. Static electricity generated by water molecules in electron behavior. Negatively charged water molecules are pushed and pulled up toward the atmosphere by negatively charged surface of the earth and a positively charged ionosphere. It's an electrical process. Science will tell you it's all thermals that are causing this rise. But what happens, the second sun comes down and heats the surface of the earth and that water vapor hits, starts rising, it starts rubbing against air molecules and it picks up a negative charge. And that negative charge, suddenly the earth charge, this negative charge on the earth starts pushing those molecules up. It's just not thermal, it's electrical.